stay with us for every kick of the ball. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. The starting 11 for Brazil. Ederson begins in goal. Alex Tevez plays with Danilo in the fullback positions. Casemiro plays alongside Fred in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Neymar. And the contest begins. Now they've lost it. Diogo Jota. Jota. Well, wasn't totally in control and a corner kick conceded here. Trying to deliver it accurately. And pretty simple for Ederson. And giving the ball away. Crossing possibilities. Jota. On to Ronaldo. Portugal have control of the ball again here. And given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Hang on, here. Derek, what a chance this is. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Bernardo Silva. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Fred? Well, visionary passing. He's just got to continue his run. The save was a good one. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? And he clears the danger. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, you might say history speaks for Brazil. On seven occasions, they've made it to the final before. They've recorded five victories. They're always going to fancy their chances. How do you view their prospects in this one, Stuart? Well, right at the start. Ronaldo! Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike.
Tellez. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, just over the crossbar. Excellent effort. Joao Cancelo. The ball with Pepe. Ruben Neves. Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo. Now the attack fizzled out. Could be a chance to break here. Can he take them on and beat them? Options in the middle. He's parted with the ball, Alexandro. He has teammates around him. Showing a lot of guile there. The shot's up. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Alexandro needs to be really careful. Neymar. Brazil moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? A lovely attempt. And splendid goalkeeping. Well, it's a decent attempt, but in the end, not enough. And as you say, good goalkeeping. And the textbook interception. Oh, he's through here. And it was a great chance for 1-0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. Diogo Jota. Now with Silva. Shot up. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Can he play it in? Cross blocked. And a goal kick is the outcome. There to win it back. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose chance oh that's top-notch goalkeeping you've got to say Joao Cancelo chance to cross and gobbled up with ease by the keeper Anthony Jesus and Neymar well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Cristiano Ronaldo Portugal looking dangerous giving it a try and Edison has somehow kept it out Playing it in. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Well, increasing the pressure, another corner it is. He's driven in the corner. Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. And smuggled behind for another corner.
Who can they pick out? Well, they survived the attack. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And Portugal moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Breaking at pace. All hands on deck. Gabriel Jesus could be well a fantastic counter-attack as they move through the gears but not a brilliant end product well everything looked good until the finish but that shows how dangerous they are on the break Joao Cancelo. Here's Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. It's looking promising. It has to be. Couldn't quite hang on. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. And over it comes. And Bernardo Silva has it. On to Bruno Fernandes. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Short corner favoured. And Bernardo Silva has it. And still looking for space. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Fred. Fred. Now Neymar. He takes aim. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. It'll be a corner. Has to clear his lines. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Plenty of running room in the wide position. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Now can they counter clinically? And it's Gabriel Jesus. Might jump in front. We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. And Portugal get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Oh, nice ball. And he was in the right place to intercept. 
Well, Brazil haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Oh, could be. Oh, a smart stop. Substitution time as is here. Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well cleared away. Casemiro. On to Jesus. Neymar. The crossbar got in the way. And never quite had the header on the target. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Firing it in. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Well, they Well, here it is again, and there's the touch on the shot, but it's just not enough, is it? He'll be so frustrated that he didn't keep that out. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Shot up. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Just 15 minutes remaining. Room to Rome on the wing for Brazil. That didn't go to plan in the end. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? They need to get bodies back. Shot up. Oh, did so well to deny him. Vinicius Junior. Effective challenge. Leal. And return to Cancelo. Could reduce the deficit. And pushed onto the woodwork. Fred. Really good interception. Diogo Jota. Bernardo Silva. Cross blocked. Neves. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Cancelo. Leao. On to Ronaldo. Oh, that's a fine save. And the substitution will occur now. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Leao. Now with Silva. Anthony. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Gabriel Jesus. There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now.
Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. Three goals without reply. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. In position. And it's come off the keeper. Oh, he's blocked it. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. Marquinhos. And the referee brings this final to an end for the first time in 20 years. Brazil are world champions once more. Well, no surprise there, Derek. Brazil have been brilliant and they fully deserve this trophy. Brazil, the world champions. And this triumph, you just feel, Stuart, is going to be fondly remembered by all Brazilians. You're absolutely right. They've played some great football. They've been inspiring. There's been some great individual performances. It's been outstanding from them.